Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in on my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna unbox another Louis Vuitton bag. It's been a while since I did an unboxing, but I'm so happy I finally got to do this. But before we get to the video, uh, follow me on Instagram at Hiamadea and if you want to see my looks, my collection and also a bag sale, I'm going to announce it on my second Instagram account at by Amadea. So make sure you follow me on those two accounts uh, so you don't miss any announcement and any updates. And also click subscribe so you don't miss any of my future video. And now let's get to the video. I have to say that this video, it's going to be a semi-unboxing because when I receive it, uh, it was delivered from UPS and even though it says for signature required, nobody signed the package. They just left it there and it's very weird with UPS or FedEx. Sometimes they waited until I opened the door and actually signed something to uh, like to leave the package but sometimes they just leave it on the door even though it says uh, signature required and then when I check online it will say package signed by me or by somebody else like a random name it's it's really weird but anyway they just love it there and then when I pick up the package from the door I felt that the packaging was really light so I got worried so if you know uh, my videos from a while back when I when I lost my Emily wallet and it was the I received the package but the wallet wasn't there so I got nervous so I just opened it right away even though I wanted to do the unboxing but anyway this is the box that it came so it it feels really light uh, than I expected and so I have opened I even recorded myself opening the, the box preparing that the bag wasn't in here so I could like file a report and send the video if need be but thankfully the bag is here so that's what ooh. okay so that's what the box looks like it says Louis Vuitton and open like so and then when I open the box the reason why this package is so light is because there is no box which is really weird this is the first time that i ordered something from louis vuitton online that i didn't get at the box but i've been seeing uh, i've been hearing from other people that there is like a box shortage and how the packaging from louis vuitton lately has been kind of like a mess and very sloppy which i find to be this case uh, uh, this time around so there is no box whatsoever I only got this uh, this bag and the bag is inside this paper bag and what I find really weird is how they just throw away not throw away like they just throw in like the receipt and everything because usually they put it in the like the orange Louis Vuitton envelope and they just package it nicely but they just throw it inside the box and there is a receipt and then just like a, a note which I usually uh, fill out a gift note for myself and this time I just say for you mama because I'm a mama now so anyway have you uh, uh, encountered that like you haven't really received the box yet I tried to contact the customer service and ask but nobody responded yet so it's weird it's been a mess but okay now let's get let's get to the back so Louis Vuitton the back like so when I open there is this booklet which I never look at and then that's the back itself okay so it comes with the dust bag no ribbon no box again weird but i'm gonna stop saying weird now and okay here you go can you see oh my god this bag is really really cute oh wow okay so this is the vanity pm i'm gonna put in the official name because i just cannot remember on the top of my head so again this bag was released earlier this year and it was not on my ra radar until recently and i just love this reverse how there's a contrast and that it 
uh, it is the same print with my uh, Palm Spring Mini in the reverse and what I love about it is it comes in this uh, black leather, black trim which I love so I don't ha really have to worry about the Vachetta leather and all that stuff watermark and everything so it comes like so I feel like this style bag is really popular lately there's a lot of different variation from different brands and I also look uh, see Chanel make vanity cases like this as well which is very popular and very hard to get right now and it opens it has this black suede lining I'm thinking it's the same lining which the Pochette Matisse I'm guessing this is Louis Vuitton Paris made in France which is cool usually when I buy stuff uh, the bag online it's usually made from USA and the chain and I have to say the chain is a combination between leather and uh, gold hardware which kind of reminds me of Chanel chain don't you think so it kind of it kind of gives the same vibe even though it's 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 totally different how the chain looks but yeah it kind of gives me the same kind of Chanel vibe and it comes with a I'm guessing this is the key just like uh, when you buy a speedy bag it comes with a lock so it comes with a lock like so and it comes with this uh, key two keys if you open it like so so I don't think I will ever use the uh, the, the lock just because I don't know if I use it as a bag I feel like it's more practical so I'm just gonna try because okay okay it opens so both lock and the key says uh 305 which i think it has to match in order for the lock to open so i bought a vintage speedy 25 which i'm gonna do a comparison video between speedy 30 and 25 if you're interested now let's see what fits inside i just stuffed in a bunch of different SLGs if you've been watching my videos you know that I don't really carry a lot with me uh, but that might be different now that I have a baby but with my own personal handbag I don't really carry a lot with me I usually just carry my phone and a card holder and then basically that's all that's all that I carry I don't even carry a full-size wallet because I rarely bring cash with me and I just don't use a lot of different credit cards and and all that stuff so that pretty much and but this is the bag so it holds a lot I have to say for a mini bag it holds a lot because of the shape and it opens like so so you know you see how there is a, like a space of the kind of the lid so you can actually put on more stuff if you want to but let's just open so I have my scrunchie which I need all the time and I fit my Louis Vuitton uh, zippy wallet and then I have my small uh, mini pochette accessoires which is also very popular and hard to get right now and then my my uh, coin purse my Chanel card holder my phone as per usual and then a lipstick so that's what fits all inside and i'm gonna try fit it back okay 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 so i just put them all back in that's what it looks like I know I think it fits a lot of stuff and yeah I really like how it turns out I'm so happy that I am finally able to get my hands on this bag okay so that's what the bag looks like on me I feel like it uh, it's a tad bit too short on me wearing crossbody but I don't mind it at all I feel like it's really cute and it's gonna be really cute if I like put like a twilly or something on here so that's what it looks like and you can also wear it uh, over the shoulder like so which I think is really cute and because 
what the chain looks like it can make it look you can dress it up and dress it down as always but yeah that's what it looks like i really really like it that's all my short unboxing i hope you guys enjoy it i hope this is helpful for you one way or another so if you haven't already done so please click subscribe so you don't miss any of my future video and also follow me on instagram at hey amadea and bye amadea and i'll see you guys in the next one bye